what is up you guys so in this video i'm going to show you how i managed to organize my entire life in 2021 using this awesome app called notion i know this is a bit different of what i do on this channel but i believe that time management is key to getting what you want done and since we're close to 2022 you know new year's is not only a time to get organized personally but also to get organized and aligned with other teams as well right so this is also a nice app to get this done and so in this video i'm going to show you how i personally brainstorm and plan my youtube videos ahead of time how i do my own personal research and how i manage other interesting stuff like what books i'm planning to read what topics i'm planning to go into and on a personal level what investments i'm looking into to throw my money in my yearly goals and my travel plans so first of all what is notion what is this app called notion who by the way sponsored this video notion it's not just a to-do list app no as you will see we're using it as sort of a website type app so it's like you're building your website but it gives you a feel of a, a personal notebook slash database management app it has everything you can you can literally do everything with this for example i use my own software to type in my latic code thanks to notion i could type in equations within this notebook which is pretty amazing i could also insert some to-do list items I could upload some matlab code or python code i could copy paste snippets from around the web i could embed images and videos it's just seamless the images that you get is from a super popular website called unsplash and another thing here worth noting is why is notion so unique well it's super customizable users love to see how creators customize their spaces and even more it's much more than one-off workflows it's an entire system as we just said you can create an entire system dashboards i mean compared to 2020 my 2021 was efficiently used i mean i couldn't even use it better than i thought and even more it's fun to follow with your goals and the best part about it is it's not just a boring habit tracker. I mean, if you look at my phone, I downloaded a hundred apps that have to do with habit tracking or to-do lists or planning my day ahead and, and stuff like that. Nothing worked, nothing actually worked. And I've been doing this since 2015 huh? until I discovered Notion. Notion isn't just any boring habit tracker. It matches your aesthetic and works with you. It actually works with you. So you can add anything you want. It's customized for you and only you. Whether you're scientific or you are come from the fashion world or you come from the finance ecosystem, wherever you come from, this will find application in your life. So in this video, I'm going to talk about my own personalized Notion app. How I personalize it for my YouTube planning, for my personal research, to plan everything and all stuff ahead of time. I'm also going to be showing you how to use its different features and that's about it. So this also gives you an opportunity to connect to how I conduct my YouTube uh, videos. It gives you an idea of how I brainstorm, what tools I use. So without further ado, let's get started. Right. So this is how my 2021 Notion notebook looks like. All thanks to this high level planning, I've pretty much managed to get a lot done in 2021. As you can see, I split my time between YouTube planning, personal research. I have my own task list, some reading list when I find the time and I have some meeting notes that I keep aside. I'm going to walk you through how I get my YouTube videos done, what type of research I do when I find the time. Because you know, all this is pretty hard to do when you've got a nine to five job. So if you're not managing your time diligently, you're going nowhere. You could be managing your time using some other type of app, but I found this app to be super useful. I mean, it's it has pretty much everything I need. I can type in some LaTeX code, you know, for equations. I could put in some snippets. I could pull in images from the web. I could use it as a database. I could do a lot of stuff. You can put your to-do list. You can upload Word documents. It's amazing. With that being said, I'm going to start by YouTube planning. And here, as you can see, I've got my videos. Let's go to the last video, 140. And so for each video I do, there's some brainstorming stage before I go ahead and decide on the topic. So for example, over here, okay, I always like to remind myself that there is some people interested in numerical analysis. I did a poll and it received 99% yes for people interested in numerical analysis so okay and then i do some keyword research um, what am i going to talk about well 
Over here, I'm using in 2021, I use a tool called Google Trends, which is pretty much really handy. I could research keyword interest over time and by region. So I saw that, you know, matrix inversion is pretty much getting a lot of traction recently. I just recorded a video on that, but this is what goes on behind the stage. I go ahead and type in some random sentences, everything that could pop up on my head around this topic. As you can see here, there's um, <laughs> some funny or random statements such as, okay, good. Let's Google some numerical analysis stuff. Well, let's talk about matrix inversion. And then we have another section called second thoughts where I read some, some thoughts that pop up in my head. Like what if the video does not receive enough views? Don't worry, do your best. I like matrices and <laughs> some nonsense going around in my head, just lay them down. Then I, you know, I like laticking. I like typing in some latic equations. I just like it. So, <laughs> so here's where where I, you know, write down some properties of matrix inversion, type in some Python code to do that. And then, you know, <laughs> I type in here a comment saying, is it even worth talking about matrix inversion? This is how NumPy or NumPy, depends how you want to pronounce it, does it with one line. So that's second thought saying, oh, okay, well, we can get the job done with only one line of code. Why is this interesting? But then I say, oh, no, but wait, I'm definitely not going to talk about this formula, the inverse of a matrix. Everybody knows this word at least everyone in about linear algebra, signal processing, and ML, any, any expert knows that. Question here is how can you add more value to matrix inverse? Then I thought about, you know, how about inverting a matrix without inverting it? Well, yes, we can. What do you mean invert a matrix without inverting it? Well, more about this in next pages. So I tweet about this and then here's the next stages that come along before recording the video. We're going to be using Newton's method to compute an inverse. So over here, I type down the definition of Newton and then I take down a subscriber's comment saying you should you know update your website regarding MATLAB codes so thanks John here's the MATLAB code regarding Newton's method then Newton's method for higher dimensions well here I can attach an image Newton is everywhere he's still alive so I type in the equation that has to do with what we have to solve using Newton here's the equation in multi dimensions and okay the next step is well how do you invert the matrix without really inverting it well we just use this function that has the inverse as the root so if Newton were to iterate it would converge to that root which is the matrix inverse but then I type down the equation and then I realize over here that, oh, why on earth is the inverse appearing in three? If it's appearing, then there's no need to, you know, iterate because if you iterate, you need the knowledge of the matrix inverse and then you're doing nothing. So an idea here is to replace the matrix inversion with the most recent estimate, xk minus one. And that's why over here we've got xk minus one instead of a inverse, right? So this is the, you know, the key to inverting without really inverting. Uh, just start with an initial point and then you iterate until you converge to the inverse of A. And here's where I, you know, I just randomly, you know, try to flip equations. Maybe I can get some other ideas to talk about during the course. Here I, I document down some ideas, like flip the E with the A using trace, introduce additional dimensions. After I, you know, I have an idea of what I'm going to record, go ahead and have some books here on my bookshelf that I refer to every once in a while. Some additional ideas I can mention during my video. So right here, as you can see, there's a bookshelf an image we can you know use unsplash for example i don't know type in library you can change your images for example let's use this here's some books that i skimmed through after you know typing down those equations could be random but i find it a bit interesting right so here's a book on random matrix methods by Roman Couillet and Marouane de Bach. Here's a book by Gilbert Strang on linear algebra and another book by, what is it? On numerical linear algebra. So I skimmed through those books, got a soft copy and a hard copy of each and every one. Then I target some keywords. So over here, naturally, I'm going to talk about Newton, matrix, invert, matrix inversion, MATLAB to mention what is up you guys <laughs> in the beginning of the video and subscribe to my channel by the end of the video. Then comes the editing part, which you 
you really don't care about. And yeah, that's about it on what goes on behind the scenes before I take a step and record a certain video. That's it on YouTube planning. Let's check some personal research, what I do. Yeah, so let's start by IEEE Explore. Well, I like to organize my papers as such. So those are some papers that I've been meaning to read and I got it done well. But before I go ahead and read some research papers, that's what I do. I put the name of the paper over here with the authors, right? So for example, Shen Hui, Hadi Sariyuddin, Tariq Balal, Hank Weimersh, Muhammad Slim, Alawini, and Tariq and Nafuri. So this is a paper by them called a tutorial on terahertz band localization for 6G communication systems. Here's the abstract and here's the tags. And the same follows for the list of papers that I have. For example, this one is by Louis Fan and others, the other co-authors. It's called Joint Radar and Communication Design, Applications, State of the Art, and The Road Ahead, published on IEEE Transactions on Communications. Here's the tags and here's the abstract. So this is like a nice table I keep. I'm just sh showing you one example, but I've got multiple of those, each for different research topics. This one obviously is around um, joint sensing and communications, terahertz communications, localization, and a bit of signal processing and wireless communications. Um, here's some GitHub stuff that I like to explore GitHub. I like to see what's going on, what packages are getting traction. And here's some GitHub modules that I've been meaning to look at, or I did look at, <laughs> like such as Terra Mimo. If I click on it, here's the link. Tensor RT by NVIDIA, which I already did a video on, and Redis. I've been meaning to look into Redis, and I'm going to conduct a video on that. Actually, Redis is a super powerful tool. It's a, it's, a, it's big. It's, it's a memory database um, tool, which you can... I'll be talking about this in future videos. Here's a bit on my investments. So cryptocurrency, I've got Bitcoin, SafeMoon, Polkadot, uh, VeChain, Zcash. In stocks, I've got Tesla, Louis Vuitton, Moe, Hennessy, LVMH. Um, Prada and Nvidia for index. I've got S&P 500, NFTs. I've got psychedelic camels and rewards bunny. I've got some yearly goals. This is really personal, but I just you know whatever. You you guys are like my family, and so I'm not sharing it with strangers, um, right? So I always look at this list from time to time. You should always remind yourself to be happy, be positive, don't worry, it will be okay. You know, I've also got this <laughs> hit 100k plus subscribers on YouTube. That would be nice by the end of the year hopefully we'll get there and some travel plans well, for example here you can attach the tickets which i didn't do yet here's where i'm going 2022 i think yeah uh, yes i don't know why i didn't you know put my 2021 trips and here's a task list that i grouped them into not started next up in progress and completed for example completed are some you know papers that i had written on some topics and i published in ieee some courses well in case you don't know i record my courses ahead of time so so here's my numerical analysis course i've got some lectures done actually this should be here not here and this has a high priority so this is what i have completed in progress i'm reading books on how to convince people to subscribe i am currently preparing a numerical analysis course on my youtube channel i'm reading about extraterrestrial life so what if aliens exist or some kind of other species that exist outside earth i'm really struggling to get my driver's license in france i've spent a fortune i've spent a fortune in france to get my driver's license and i failed four times and my fifth time is in a week so in case you're listening to this before what day is it um fifth before the 10th of december 2021 please pray for me <laughs> in progress as well as aoa i'm reading about aoa estimation so angle of arrival estimation in terahertz bands i'm walking through tensor rt checking its different powerful features this is all for in progress now next up those are topics that i am going to bring up in the near future or i'm going to deal with either read or talk about in on my YouTube channel. For example, joint communication and sensing, smart cities, use Redis to manage stocks, write a book with low priority, brainstorm more topics to publish on, and some topics that I haven't started yet. I should read about Neom. So Neom is this futuristic city in Saudi Arabia. How to launch a company. I've been really interested in that recently. Uh, sorry about this Arabic. Uh, this stands for Louvre. 
Louvre is a museum here in Paris. But there's all I recently learned there's another Louvre in Abu Dhabi. So this is Louvre Abu Dhabi. Um, I've been wanting to read about that. I really also like to read about history. So here, for example, there's Musa. Musa is a prophet who walked on water. This is my task list. My reading list goes here. So here's the Neom thing. If I click on it, this is actually on Medium and it's by the Millennial Source. If I click here, it takes me to the Medium article. This is one article. Another one is who will teach Silicon Valley to be ethical on NY Times right here. Okay. This one is by Kara Swisher. Here's the article. Another one is quantum computing by Mike Mulan on Medium. One of my favorites is uh, Python cheat sheets. This one is by Claire De Costa. Here's the article on Medium. And as well, I've got some books that I've been wanting to finish. I've done most of it. For example, this book, Random Matrix Methods for Wireless Communications by Roman Kouye and Marwan de Bach. I've done 90% of it. This one by Stefan Boyd and Levin Vandenberg. Applied Linear Algebra, this I finished. Convex Optimization as well. Digital Signal Processing by Proacus. I've done 50% of it. And I've been wanting to to read machine learning with quantum computing. Lastly, I've got some meeting notes. Uh, this, this is unnecessary to present. Right, so so yeah, this is about it. This is how I manage to keep track of my progress, what needs to be done and stuff. So let me show you how to use it for your own. First, start by adding a page. You can call it my first page. This forward slash is legit, it's big. It actually saves a lot of time. This is how you search for stuff. So let's say I want to search for equations, block equations. Here you can start typing some lactic code. So begin equation end equation pi r square is not equal to 2 pi r actually there are cases where it is but in general it's not for all r in r so this is how you type in equations you can also insert some codes so right here you can add some code you can select the language that you want in case you don't like dark mode and i'm sorry about that go ahead in here to appearance and put light in case you want some light stuff but now my eyes are killing me so i'm sorry about that i'm going back to dark much better let me copy some code python sample code for example go to python examples agree and proceed so i'm going to copy this and paste it here and select python as a language so that the coloring is appropriate you can copy paste this code over here. You can add a caption saying a Python snippet. Let me rename this page to something like random thoughts. Let's add a cover from the back saying change cover. You can add some gradients. Those are presets by Notion. You can unsplash, go to unsplash. So unsplash is a website full of images. But here let's choose something relevant. I'll choose dice and you can, you know, drag the image to reposition okay save position you can add an icon say dice here i'm just you know random thoughts so dice <laughs> so what else could we do you can add another page over here but we don't want to do that it just leaves a link to that page you can type in some other stuff and go back here you've got it what else you could you do text well this is some text you can add another heading saying other random stuff you can add a to-do list like take romeo for a walk tick 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 right you can add i don't know finish editing my youtube video what else follow up with let's say marwa what else take wife to cinema talk to your mom go for a walk and meditate right so let's say you did this you did this you did this and you did this that's a nice stuff so this i will rename it to to-do list to-do list and then you could have you add a table you could as well add a coat einstein coats for example this coat of course give credit to you can make it large you could change the color let's say color blue you could as well what else do you want right forward slash let's check other stuff like add an emoji over here <laughs> you could as well this is so much fun i mean notion is like the i don't know how they did this it's a mix of you know you're creating your own web page with your own images database you can embed the link from the web let's go back here copy image address embed link in case you want this image on top of the coat you can do this what else you could add a table database so over here are some tags that you could add for example this one has to do with deep learning this one has to deal with fashion and this one has to deal with i don't know health over here you could say um for example if you're 
if you have an article that you still didn't read but you're meaning to it just you know crossed your cross while researching some stuff you can add this right here as such or you could article as such and then you could paste as such so now it's clickable right so you go ahead click there you go this one is by DeepMind. This is an article that I've been wanting to read. Mathematicians use DeepMind AI to create new methods in problem solving. Fashion, I don't know, maybe some Louis Vuitton stuff, um, Gucci, <laughs> Prada, and Valentino. Health. It, you know, I'm not a health expert and I know most people in engineering tend to be more stressful because there's more to get done. But think about it. Everything will come to an end. That is to say, everything you're worrying about, everything that is stressing you out will come to an end, regardless of the outcome. Don't stress. Be happy. Be positive. And, you know, when you get to write those down in the middle of your tasks, you're coding and you're writing equations and you have a to do list. And oh, my God, I have this and that. And here's Albert Einstein and stuff. When you're in the middle of your workflow and you come and write down, oh, don't stress, be happy, be positive and stuff. It changes everything. Mood stabilizer. It has its own positive effects on your soul, on your on your well-being. So here stuff to do or to keep in mind you know this is like a you see what's the the the, the advantages of this notion notebook hey it's it it has everything what does it not have it's like a notebook you're putting code you're you're putting tables what else could be put um, equations linked to another page like my youtube planning what else there's a calendar database where you could you know just add some events for example december 5 end date you can add an end date 23 there you go it's, it's all spread to 23 you can add here something like 19 days of coding what else can you add go back we created a page for that <laughs> It's called calendar. What else do we have? You can add an image from the web, as we saw. Unsplash is one way. You can upload any type of file. Here's my recent file. Say I upload this code, MATLAB code. Here it is. What else could you do? You can link a database. You can have a lot of files over here, right? A lot of files over here. You can import them as well from here. HTML, Word. What else? Code, audio. You choose an audio. You can embed the link. You have a video as well from YouTube. Paste it here. There's the video. You can watch it from it's here. At a price of 53.90. What else? A web bookmark. Exactly. Go to the Wikipedia page, copy the link, and paste it over here. You can get a bookmark of that, right? You could embed a tweet. Google map. There's a lot of stuff. It has everything, like literally everything. So I hope you enjoyed this different type of video. This was different. This is not what I usually do on my channel, but since we're at by the end of 2021, I thought it would be interesting to share my notion notebook, uh, how I organize my day, how I plan my year ahead of time. I'm going to have to reiterate on all this, or actually I have to create my 2022 since 2022 is less than a month. I'm going to repeat this process with proper planning so as you saw notion is the app to, to sort your to-do list to lay down all your random thoughts to, to organize what type of research papers you're planning to read your tasks group them in the order you want yeah so it's a powerful tool it, it, it's not just a database a management app no it's super powerful it i mean my 2020 was so messed up i couldn't manage to do anything i had a lot to do but at the end of the day i couldn't get anything done but i experimented with notion by 2021 and it it's, it, it, it was a life changer. It's a life changer. Best part about it is that it's free. You do have a plan for $4 a month, but I'm using the free version. I was giving it a try in 2021 and I said, well, it really had a positive impact on my life and I'll try the paid feature. So that's about it. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions whatsoever, kindly leave a comment down in the comment section below. I'll make sure I'll get to it as soon as possible. I'll see you then.